hi everyone i'm here to talk about what i learned from my um, audience feedback in the production of my short film and everything so um throughout my entire production process i was receiving audience feedback in order to improve my tasks audience feedback was important to get in the pre-production stages of my short film in order to um understand how my film will work and what audience I have to suit it best in order to make the most success. Also if I have a predicted target audience best suited for my narrative which I had in mind um, teenagers and young adults then I need to best suit my piece and marketing to suit them and attract them. So in order to do this I'd have to gain audience feedback from my target audience in order to improve my film and best suit it for the predicted audience. So to begin I created a questionnaire about short films in order to understand what basic things about short films most audiences prefer in order to appeal it to as many people as possible. In order to get my questionnaire to the public I shared it on social media multiple times, emailed, it all to my con emailed the link to all of my contacts and um, I ended up getting a majority of responses from teenage females who um, usually, usually watch one to three films online weekly and the majority of them favoured the romance genre and were willing to pay four to eight pounds for a film. The majority of people enjoyed watching a linear film with a happy ending, although a happy ending nearly joint with an ambiguous ending. So um, the majority of people pitied male, male characters and um, enjoyed learning bits about the film throughout. The majority also said they, they usually find out about films on social media. So this questionnaire allowed me to understand how to direct my narrative as well as my marketing. I have to ensure my marketing stands out due to the media saturation with the amount of films online and it's only one to three films usually get on, watched weekly and it's to ensure that my marketing allows my film to stand out so mine it becomes one of those. I ensured my narrative was linear through my feedback and um, decided to have an ambiguous ending as nearly the same amount of people said ambiguous as they did happy but an ambiguous ending I believe would be more effective for my short film narrative and I ensured that the narrative gave information throughout the film so the audience learned more of their watch alone which along which is obviously prevalent through the voiceover and I ensured that the main character was male to ensure the audience pities him as then it, the film would be more effective and I was aware from this questionnaire that I needed to focus my marketing on social media to catch people's attentions to watch my short film especially if it was a younger audience which I was targeting so from my questionnaire I learned a lot about what aspects people enjoy within short film. Next, uh, me and my group began planning our short film and once we had an idea we decided to create an animatic in order to show how the film would prevail. So we showed our animatic to our class and they gave us feedback and in return overall from the class's feedback the positive was on average that we included good range of shots and sound effects um, and we also generally receive, receive feedback stating that animatic shows a clear understanding of the drama genre and target audience. Um, however, the general negative feedback we received was that the narrative was unclear and that the use of the diegetic soundtrack was boring and lacked variety and the classroom scene was prolonged and boring. So in response, we ensured that narrative was made clearer but adding clues that foreshadowed the extremism and violence. And to further enhance the narrative, clearly we included a voiceover explaining to the audience what happens in case they wasn't to understand. <coughs> we ensured that we'd spend a longer time exchanging messages between Harry and the extremists that centred the focus of the film on, obviously, his communications upon the stranger. We also thought it'd be best to remove the classroom scene altogether to ensure that it didn't appear like a bullying scene or confuse the narrative. So we also ensured that we changed the non-tragic soundtrack so that it remained interested and captured the audience more. So to begin my film poster, I had three ideas. So the ideas went as like, following that, there was three. I showed my class my film poster and I asked them to give me feedback on each one and tell me which they favoured. They obviously knew my narrative from my nomadic. 
so they kind of understand what gist I was trying to get across with the film post with the film posters. And the feedback I received stated that the first poster was a general favour and it needed to be more professional by not using the thought bubbles, which I understand. The idea was suggested that I should make a background montage of the jumbled thought posters that Harry contains as a background to his appearing distressed in the middle. So he would appear, obviously, just distort in the middle and there would be a background montage of what he was thought, just, and he was kind of stuck in the middle of it, that kind of idea. I replicate the image of the boy sitting on the bench, which I got from Google, as a starting, just an idea. And um, I replicate that with Sean with the green screen and cropped him short so that it was unclear he was behind the green screen. And then it was created to prove not... And then it was created and proved to not work when I showed my peers in class of the montage of him in the middle. It just didn't really work. It looked just a bit of a massive photo mess, really. So I took the montage away and made the background plain and just kept Harry, Sean in the middle and um, used a black background and it proved much more effective. And I smudged coloured Sean, thereby completely disorientating the image and dramatising him. And as he was smudged, it, it clearly suggested that he was fading away. It correlates with the narrative. And I then showed my new film poster to my teacher who told me to add a tagline, social media icons, and um, where I created the tagline saying all actions have consequences, which clearly links to the film narrative, and the Twitter, Facebook and YouTube logos to the corner, which signify where to find out more about my film. I um, showed my poster to my friendship group who said they didn't like the film title font, so I made it bolder clearer, and clearer rather than the previous jagged font that I had before. I created my film review inspired by the Empire magazine <clears throat> and I showed my teacher my first drafted essay uh, of the writing on the film review and she told me to reduce the size of my film title and stars and gave me a lot of, high, a lot of highlighted spelling errors which I hadn't obviously seen on my own work. She told me to break down long sentences and reword my introduction and to ensure that the columns are the same width and there was page information like subheadings, page numbers. So I edited my film review by correcting the spelling mistakes, reducing the sizing of the stars and the film title and I reworded sentences and made the writing float more and make more sense. I made it so that the columns were the same width, um, however I didn't include page information which was careless of me as when I then asked for further feedback which my corrections had made I was told to add a photo caption review and page details. So I was told to add Empire on the bottom of my film review and the month next to it to show which editorial I released in the magazine and from this I added page information like a film caption, page number, review, magazine name, month written to add the provenance to the review and my photo caption was comical to fit the nature of the magazine as often they include like ironic or satiric captions so I made the Im image smaller in order to outline that the page was a film review by including the word review between two lines which are used by shape tool and Empire usually includes at the top of their pages. And for my audience feedback, I learned how to improve all aspects of my preliminary task in order to further enhance its effectiveness and realism. So I learned that you should look at things from different aspects and to take feedback, as you may not see the criticism in your own work. So it may help you to look at things from a broader perspective.